Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, as promised in my other videos, I am returning back to more fashion, 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 fashion. And as promised, I have um, assassinated my credit card another time, whatever, to buy this little baby here. Uh, part of the Chanel Spring Summer 2015 Pret-a-Porter mainline. Little camellia on the top of the bag, and it doesn't want to show it to us. Why doesn't it want to show it? There it is, kind of, more or less. If I were to block this, let's see if it shows it now. Now it shows it. Okay, so that's the little, it's kind of, a, it's cotton, I would say, but it's starched in a way. It's, it's hardened. Um, let's unlock it again. There you go. Okay, so here we go. Taking all these ribbons off always takes forever. Fell in love with this little thing because it has a vintagey look to it. Here's the bag. It comes in, or well, the box it comes in, and the bill is in here. Let's see if everything is correct. Yes, everything is correct. That's the bill. Put it back in this little bag. And another camellia. And the same texture material, Chanel ribbon. Sticker, little Chanel sticker there for whatever reason. <laughs> um, this is a miniature version of the magnet boxes. Now, to how I open these babies, I literally slip them open, I don't undo them. I conserve everything. Okay, it was easy. And we slip it up, and that way I have my little preserved uh, ribbons, which we also can put here. So, open it up, you see that magnet clasp? There's one magnet there, and probably one here. Oh, there they are. If you can see a little bump, that's one magnet, and that's the other one. That's how these boxes work. And here we go. Oh no, it's a little bit bent. Oh well, dented. So this is the wrapping paper. A lot of Chanel logos all over it, and a sticker. <clears throat> how I do this? Simple. I turn it upside down. Nobody does it like this, only me. And I take it out, and you see, it just flips open by itself, and ooh, a little bag comes out. Ha ha, that's the baby. Well, let me just put it down for a second and take this out as well, which is its little storage case. Okay, now the entire wrapping, you literally just put it back. In the way you took it out and then you have the whole conserve package isn't that lovely we'll do that later of course because now we don't need to do that because it's bag time not package time right so um, as far as vintage goes I'm a huge fan of the you know mostly 70s chevron um, shaped you know uh, Kilted, not kilted, well, yeah, the matelassé, but the chevron cut, so these V's. It makes it look much more futuristic. These bags exist in several colors, in yellow, in green, in blue, in pink, and three different variations of black. Um, two are the same. This is lambskin leather, so we have black lambskin leather with gold hardware and black lambskin leather with a chromed black hardware. Then we have black patent leather, very, very, very glossy leather, also with black chromed hardware. But I'm a sucker for gold stuff, so Chanel has to be gold here. We open it up. All of these little babies are made in Italy. Can we even see that? It's so hard with this light, people. There you go. Oh, come on. Come on. Focus for us. There it is. Made in Italy. Um, has a pretty long chain, as you can see. There's no pocket in the back, which is good because I'm not a big fan of back pockets. Because you never use them anyway. 
And this is how big it is. Now, um, I have my other little Chanel lambskin bag here for comparison, and it's coming in a second. But let's just get to the minimum as far as, you know, size goes for this bag and such. So I have my little meter, and let's measure it. The length in centimeters of this bag is approximately 17 it's approximately 17 centimeters across. There it is. Height would be yeah, around 10, but depending, you know, it all depends. Nine or 10. It all depends how much you fill it up with. If you know, if it gets squished or opened up more. And the width is relatively good in my opinion. Five centimeters approximately. <clears throat> Sorry, so let's see the drop of the chain. Because <clears throat> it's pretty big. I just want to twist it. Okay, fixed it. So let's see the drop of the chain is around 58 centimeters. I'll show you guys here. 58. Um, inside of the bag we have paper <laughs> and <clears throat> the authenticity card. As you know, I never show the authenticity numbers because I want to protect those and their identity, but it's in here and um, <clears throat> there's like a little compartment right, right here for the authenticity card, and then you have another two compartments. In this back corner, let me see where it is, in the front corner, sorry. In this area here, and there is, there it is, back there is the authenticity sticker. The code matches the code on this card. <clears throat> so that is something interesting. Now. These little bags have only one, one hole, not two, and the chain is attached to the bag at the ends. That's the case with 99% of the minis. And there you have another one. It's also a little difficult to see. There it is. Nevertheless, as you've seen in oh so many videos already, you can wear this bag in different ways. So even though it has only two, you know, rings, on top, um, you can still combine, you can still, you know, twirl around these, um, how would you call it, the chains and make out of your crossbody, a cross shoulder, crossbody bag, uh, kind of a, <clears throat> a more of a shoulder pochette, which I never do because um, my whole shtick <laughs> is to wear these bags, you know, as necklaces or chains in general. So, you know, I could just hang off like that of my neck, which I love a lot, or just, you know, it could just literally be, be done like this and worn this way, which is cute too, because it works on a guy, in my opinion, as long as they're miniatures, because when they're miniatures, it's a fun, playful little thing, you know? Let me just block uh, the light here and try to do this again without it overexposing. There you go. So to me, personally, it, it works. Um, it's a bit, you know, long when you got to twirl the chain, but um, it's fun. I'm probably, you know, I'm going to wear it more like this than the other way around. I do have, and now I can show you the other one, which I already made a review on. This little bag here, uh, I do wear as a necklace only, actually, but because also of its shape, you see, they're quite different in a way. Now, they're both lambskin, right? Um, one thing I've noticed, and I've been discussing this with my sales associate from Chanel yesterday, like a long time, quite a, quite a, quite a bit of time before I decided to purchase this bag, because I noticed that the quality of the lambskin is not the same as it used to be. So if we compare these two, 
you could already see by the shine, I mean, this thing is a different type of lambskin than this one. It's just completely different. They both have like the vintage looking, you know, aged gold hardware, which I like because you do not see scratches, you do not see use or wear. Um, and then I thought to myself, you know, why are they doing this? Of course they're going cheaper, duh. I mean, they're trying to save as much money as possible in production and they want to make as much money as possible with revenue and sales. But this bag is extremely delicate. Like, it's gorgeous and rich and everything, but I mean, I have to literally almost use it with gloves. This lambskin, on the other hand, it's more plasticky looking in a way. Um, but I've checked Chanel online, you know, on the website. They didn't go through the effort to kind of retouch the pictures of these babies online to make them look like this lambskin. They left it this way. So, in a way, it's kind of maybe wanted. Uh, the illusion of these bags, you know, being like from the 70s or something. <clears throat> I'm not so sure, but one thing is sure and certain. This, this lambskin is more resistant to scratches. So, I opted for this bag uh, because of that. Because um, I love the chevron and it's very rare. It doesn't come very often and it just gives it that modern -y, more futuristic -y twist and look. And I went for it because I'm going to actually be able to wear this a lot more and use it a lot more because it's more user friendly. Now, whether or not uh, this leather and how they treated this leather uh, will stand the test of time better than, than, than this one, I don't know. I mean, th this one is gorgeous. This one is just beyond gorgeous and, and buttery and soft and, and filigrane and it just feels different than this one. This one is a bit like, um, how would I describe it? It feels a bit, um, <clears throat> hmm. as if it had like a protective coat. That's how it feels. Exactly that's how it feels. It feels like it has a little protection layer over it, uh, which actually is really good. Um, but I will let you know in a couple of months, you know, how, how good it stands the test of time and, and use. Uh, I have also went, gone through the effort to take my little Moschino bags with me, they're also lambskin leather, to compare the two. Now, let's do the back because the front has too many clips and stuff. As far as shine goes, they're very similar. The Moschino one looks um, <coughs> more delicate. <clears throat> this one looks definitely thinner. It feels thinner, but it feels very, very buttery and rich as well. So, I mean, I love this Moschino bag, as you guys know. I wear it a lot. But uh, it has it's a different feel. Now, of course, as far as chains go, these are like hollow on the inside. So the Moschino chains, they... They, they just don't weigh anything. Where the Chanel chain is, it's a hefty weight. It's like a full on chain. It, it feels like so much more heft to it. And they're, they're full on and, and, and almost like creamy in a way. Um, the chains are the same on both of these. There's like no quality difference whatsoever. So the only thing I'm thinking is whether or not this was wanted by Chanel, you know, to be, to have this kind of more satiny look rather than this buttery, glossy look. Actually, I mean, yeah, in video they look the same, kind of, don't they? But it definitely feels much more resistant now uh, to, to wear and tear. The smell, I always like to smell my products, right? Because, yeah, this one has more that rich leathery smell. Because it's, you know, it's almost not treated in a way. And this one has that coating I was talking to you about. Oh, no, the inside. Oh, 
gorgeous. <laughs> the inside smell is so divine. I mean, that leather smell of Chanel, you can't beat it. Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Anyway, the inside is completely made of leather. There is no stitching, no nothing that is made in fabric of any sorts. It's leather through and through and through, which is another aspect that makes Chanel the rich, rich, rich kind of thing that we love. Uh, <clears throat> that's a thing to compare with a Moschino bag, for example. You see, all of the, the stitchings, everything, you know, wherever the leather is ending and is kind of sewn into another piece of leather, what they do, they always bend it, so they, they bend two pieces of leather and then they bring them together. So you do not have any leather ending just open anywhere on any part of this bag, you see. It's completely, completely sealed off everywhere you look. Even the little tiny pocket on the inside has, is not just cut off. With, you know, Lower quality bags are bags where, you know, the price is a bit cheaper. I'm going to show you with the Moschino bag, for instance. You do have most of these. This one is done pretty well, I have to say, because the top layer does have, you know, the leather turned in, but the underneath part doesn't. So you see the, lo the inner leather is literally just sewn onto the other piece. So you could see the leather ending there, as well as these little bits. They're just open. But, and of course, these little bags are not full on leather. Let me pick this up, Ooh, show you. Um, you know, the leather ends here, and then we have the rest of it is textile. So, of course, that makes, you know, a huge difference in price. When you're shopping for your bags, always check for that, uh, because the more, you know, the less... Um, the less fabric you have and the more, you know, everything is made in leather and of course the better the quality of the bag. Uh, especially check out all of the stitchings, you know, and make sure that all of your leather is bent inwards and then sewn together because that also will help your bag live longer, have a longer and healthier life. This bag has two pockets, we've already said that. Now what fits in this bag? I would say, well, I can't put my little thing here I'm filming with because I'm filming with it, but uh, definitely a wallet, a mobile device. I mean, it's, you know, 17 centimeters wide, so you could even put in the new iPhone 6 if you wanted to. Um, not the biggest version, I would say, because it's too, I think it's too wide in a way, but at least the, um, the regular size version. The chevron on the bottom does not continue with V cuts, but instead they have made parallel straight lines stitched into the bag. And that's how it's done. So that's going to be the little baby I'm going to wear all this summer and next winter and the summer after that and the winter after that because these bags are forever, uh, as far as I'm concerned at least, because um, Chanel is a lot of fun. And I tried the, the one with the black and swell as well because, you know, just from a distance it looks much more futuristic with this chromed black hardware, glossy. But then on me, it didn't work, you know. I, the gold always works on me somehow. I like... Chanel, to me, Chanel is gold. We, it's true that we don't get any more gold-plated hardware as we used to in the 80s. But uh, those times have gone. So I guess if I do get another Chanel bag ever in the future, it's going to be a vintage one because I really want one of those old-school, gorgeous, gold-plated uh, bags. It will, in that case, be a bigger one. Um, but uh, as far as, you know, this is the closest, you know, uh, it gets to gold plated as far as Chanel goes these days. But what is cool about it is you will not see any scratches on these because they've already, you know, they're already made to look vintage. Uh, and um, they've kind of polished them like, they look like they've aged a little, which is really cool because it helps you protect your bag. Even though it probably helps them save money, but who cares? At this point, things have to be resistant to time. So, as I said before, 
Make up your own minds on whether or not you like this type of lambskin. Of course, we love the classic looking lambskin gloss and finish and delicate touch of, of it. But um, this one is definitely a yes for me because it will withstand the test of time much, much, much better. So it's a question of taste at this point, you know? If you, if you like it or not, is up to you. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up on this video if you liked it. Leave me comments in the comment section below if you have any questions about this bag. Um, and I will see you pretty soon. I'm going to visit a store, I think, in a, in a bit. So let's hope that works out well. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Take care, everybody. Love you. Bye.